What's going on everybody? My name is Tatro and I've decided to create a beat every day for the next 31 days. I'm calling it Beattober. All right, first things first, if you enjoy live electronic music performances, tutorials, and content to make you a more productive producer, you should click the subscribe button down below. Also, don't forget to follow me on all my other social media, including Instagram, where I'm posting all of these beats. Now it's the beginning of the month, it's the first week, so I only have a few beats to show you today, but I am gonna update you every week with the previous week's beats here on this channel. As you listen to these beats, let me know in a comment down below which one you think is the best. So let's get into it. Let me play you the first beat I made for Beattober. This beat was created using the Artifon Instrument 1. Give it a listen. It's so interesting to me that every time I post with the instrument one, people still have no idea what it is. They even ask me what it is despite tagging it and putting it in the caption. But yeah, I've made so much content with this and it's been out a while, but there's still such an audience out there that doesn't know about the instrument one, which I think is really interesting. If you don't know, it's a guitar style MIDI controller, but I love that it just gives me a different approach to music production than a traditional keyboard. Let's get into the next one. This second beat was made with a Seaboard block and the LightPad block using the Noise app on iOS. Check it out. The Noise app is a really powerful tool, but it does have some limitations like only having four tracks. I try to make the most of that because they included overdub in an update. So I can actually add multiple layers on top of the four layers that you have. For this one, I was going for a lo-fi chill kind of vibe. The next beat was made with the brand new Launch Key Mini and the Amplify app Groovebox, which actually has full integration with the Launch Key Mini, which is probably the best hardware app integration that I've experienced yet. Check it out. All right, what did you think of that one? I love how you have total control over the Groovebox app with the controller. I can just the parameters of the different synths, turn synths on and off, use the pads to play notes and to play drums, and also the transport functions work. 
super great integration there. All right, and the last beat I have for you today was created with the Ableton Push 1. I'm a tried and true Ableton Push 1 user. Have not upgraded, have not felt the need to upgrade. Check out the beat. That was the last beat I have for you this week. Let me know in a comment down below which beat was your favorite. I'm thinking about taking some of these beats that people really like and really exploding them out, making them into full tracks and putting them out on Spotify and all the other streaming services. Which if you haven't yet, you should go follow me on Spotify. I've got two beat tapes up, Beat Sketches Volume 1 and 2 that you should definitely give a listen and add some of your favorite tracks to your playlists. Make sure you're following me on Instagram so you can see these beats as they come out every single day this month and let me know what you think. If you're participating in Beattober, use the hashtag and also tag me, let me know, and I'll probably share it on my story if your beat is dope. Again, make sure you subscribe for more live electronic music performances, tutorials, and content to make you a more productive producer. This has been Tatro. Have a good one.